Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joyce Chunglo. I'm running for the Board of Selectmen for my sixth term. I have um, served the town of Hadley for the past 30 years, 15 years on school committee, and the last 15 years on the select board. I married a local man. I grew up in Northampton, went to school in Northampton. Uh, but his light claim to fame was he took me out of the big city and brought me to the country. So here I am. I raised two children. Uh, my husband and my two children are both graduates of Hopkins Academy, and we have made our home here. So when I was able to, I started to participate in town boards, and I was uh, lucky enough to uh, be elected to the uh, school committee. I had a great great time doing that and then I found that I wanted to move on to the totality of taking care of the town so for the past 15 years I have served on the select board. It has been a true honor to have been elected all these years. Uh, as a board we oversee all the buildings in town and the departments that do not have any elected officials. This the town buildings have been a real sore topic for some time in town. We have tried to catch up where we lacked um, in taking care of these buildings. We have uh, added a building committee um, over five years ago, which has done an outstanding job um, bringing things up to code and par and uh, helping us with repairs and um, the disposition of some of these town buildings. We instituted a, B, a DPW department. Uh, that also was not a, t a popular decision that we made, but it has worked out to our benefit, especially with the new addition of Marlo Warner as our DPW director. Uh, he has implemented many new policies that have benefited us. We have much more to work on in this department, water and sewer. We have 100-year-old lines that we need to take care of. Uh, we've done many lines on Route 9 so far with the help of the state and being able to repair these. We have more to come in 2020, 2021. We will be doing more repairs and more replacement of water and sewer lines at that time. Uh, with the implementation of the meals tax and the hotel tax, we've been able to expand our capital expenditure programs. Uh, we've been able to upgrade uh, equipment and take care of a lot of things that we weren't able to do when we didn't have this money coming in. Um, I have been uh, the liaison to the police and fire department. Um, they have been my pride. Each one of us has overseen certain departments, um, the library, the school committee. We each have our own thing that we do. Uh, mine, luckily for over 10 years, have been with the fire and police. And I'm very happy to say that we have expanded on our fire and our public safety. Uh, it has been the goal of the Finance Committee the last few years to improve upon this. With the hiring of Chief Mason and Chief Spankenable at the helm down there, it has made a big difference in what we have done. The police department has expanded to many full-time officers, still with some part-time and special police, but with the addition of sergeants, a detective, um, and also with the implementation of uh, uh, the resource school and resource community senior center uh, police officers that have been out there and working with the schools and the, and the seniors. Uh, we still have a lot more to do, but uh, Chief Mason is doing a great job at that, and each year he's doing wonderful things with the budget. Um, our overtime has been cut down by the implementation of uh, full-time officers. Uh, we went to a full-time fire chief, and that was Chief Spank and Abel, who we put into that position. And he has taken things by the helm, and uh, he has. Uh, we have a lieutenant, and now we have just hired a deputy chief. With the help of the finance committee and the townspeople, we are able to add two more firefighters, so that we will have coverage for our town uh, during a 12-hour period from uh, 7 a.m. until at least 5 p.m. or 7 p.m. at nighttime, uh, with on-call force still needed uh, for our nighttime coverage. Um, 
we also have uh, Mike is also the community has worked well with the community programs and uh, making sure that all of our inspections are getting done also uh, we are also working on which he is a part of also the ambulance committee uh, we are trying to get the best possible service that we can for the town uh, whether we step into the role of having our own ambulance somewhere down the road but right now we're in contract negotiations with Amherst and maybe another vendor um, to see who will serve us better and at a um, respectable price that we can pay there will always be things that we need to do but everything takes money we have the most APR in 61A land in the state. We have strive to keep open space. Route 9 is our business district. We uh, have always said that our businesses help keep our tax rate down, which we're very proud of. Um, but again, we still are in a, a, an area of where we do need other things in town that we need to look at. And keeping these businesses in town, that's our job also to see what we can do to help them to do that uh, with Amazon and everything else coming in our businesses are trying to reinvent the space that we have on Route 9 um, so far so good and we hope that continues um, as you may see I have not had the time to put out any signs um, my signs after 15 years have um, not been up to par and I just didn't put any money into it plus with all of that work I'm still working full-time as a nurse and um, I am in an orthopedic office and um, I just want don't want you to think them disinterested in not campaigning I feel that I have you know done a fairly decent job I hope that you will support me in the election on April 10th, um, please come out and vote. Um, it's very important that you do cast your vote that day. Um, so thank you very much. Thank you to the town.